Good morning, it's your crazy old coot here. How are you doing? I'm just doing great today. Today we are going to delve into Windows 11 sound. So if you're having sound issues with Windows 11, this is a brief tutorial and will hopefully get you at least set in the right direction. Step one, in the right corner of the desktop, right click on the speaker symbol to pop up these options. Troubleshoot sound problems, open volume mixer, and sound settings. We want to left click on sound settings. And now this brings up system sound. It doesn't tell you a whole lot. You should see some choices on my system. The real tech output is my SP diff optical out. And the Denon AVR is my HDMI output. The circles on the right just show which system is active. This is showing the Denon AVR as being active. Now if you look down just a little bit, come to a thing that says advanced. There is a section called all sound devices. Turn devices on, off, troubleshoot, and other options. Left click on all sound devices. So this should bring up system sound all sound devices. And it brings up a list of devices that are connected up to your system. You want to right click on your active system. In my case, it's the Denon AVR. And now you get to system sound all devices properties. First, you want to left click on test and you should get some tones coming out of your system. And the number of tones tell you how many channels you have. So if you only have two tones, you have two channels. If you have three tones, you have three channels and vice versa. Like I have six tones because I have 5.1. Also, there is is default for audio and don't allow. So if you click on the don't allow, it allows you to shut off this output device. So you don't want to do that. And is the default for audio is just telling you that it's the default channel. Now, to the right of test, there is a 16-bit, 48 hertz DVD quality setting. Now, if you left click on that, that brings up your choices for bits and hertz. You can see you have quite a few different choices. You Remember, this is the output. It's not recording. So for me, 16-bit, 48 hertz is high enough quality. That's DVD quality. Notice that there is no way to change how many channels you have. So if you have, you're getting only two tones and that means you're, it's only putting out stereo and you've got a 5.1 system, there's no place here to change it to 5.1. Which brings me to the next conclusion that this is absolutely totally worthless. Forget everything I've just told you because it's meaningless. I will show you a better option. Go to your search box at the bottom of your windows and type in control panel and then left click the control panel icon that should show up in your upper right corner of the box. This should bring up the control panel with all its different icons. Double left click the sound icon or right click and select open. This should bring up the sound panel. Today we are only interested in playback. Right click on your default output, mine is 4, Denon AVR, and left click on test. Mine has 6 tones for 5.1 sound. Now if you only hear 2 for stereo or want to change your, or your speaker configuration, again right click your default output and right click configure speaker or look at the bottom left and right click the configure box.
left click on your SP diff digital output device. Mine is the Realtek digital output. Left click the select default button. This will make it the default sound device. Right click the icon and select by left clicking properties. Left click the advanced tab. Now you can select your bit rate in your hertz but notice you only have two channels no matter what one you select. After selecting bit and frequency left click the test to be sure you have your output sound. I hope this video has helped you demystify Windows 11 sound. If you have any further questions please make a comment below and I will answer them as to my best of my ability. This is your crazy old coot wishing you a good evening.